Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have another great grouping of boxes. I am pretty excited because either these are either boxes we're seeing for the first time or the second time. Like nobody's old hat. Well, that's not true. That's not true. Vela boxes old hat. Like we've had them for forever and they're just an absolute favorite of mine. And I just want to show them off. But this group right here is either brand new, brand new, our second look at in brand new. So I'm really, really excited. Let me slide these over to the side and we'll dive in. If you're new here, welcome. This is a subscription box haul. So we kind of quickly go through all of the boxes, play with the items inside, talk about the price point, the quality, all of that type of stuff to help you decide, is this box a match for you? The whole goal here is to not deep dive, but to bounce through a few different boxes just enough so that you can see, is this box a match for me? This first box that we're doing is Sip and Stitch. You guys, my first time to open this was not, maybe not June, but May. I think it was May that I opened it. First time to see sock yarn, a sock yarn subscription, a yarn subscription of any sort. And we loved it. So she popped back up, was like, I would love to send you another box because my oldest has already used all the materials from that first box. And I was like, we would love to see a second box. So Sip and Stitches is a sock yarn subscription box. It is monthly at $49.99. Shipping is calculated where you are based in the US or Canada. But if you use Pink Stitch 15, you get 15% off a three month subscription and free shipping, which is really great. If you're like me and you're like, what is a sock yarn subscription? Let me tell you. The Sip and Stitch box is a collaborative effort between Julia's Yarn Shop and Artisan Yarn Dyers and skincare small businesses. Sip and Stitch sends out a unique colorway of luxury sock yarns, tea samplers, handcrafted stitch markers, and skincare products in each box. There are always a few surprises included, they want their customers to feel the experience of visiting a small yarn shop with each box that they open. And that first box sent the most fabulous yarns. I'm telling you, my oldest was itching the minute I opened it to take the items out of the office, but I always tell them, wait till I have fully unboxed the box and the video has gone live before we play with the things, you know, like a just in case. And so she had to wait like, a week and a half or almost two weeks. And I thought she was gonna explode. And she took it right upstairs, read everything in the box, opened YouTube, got an instructional, and boom, was in there stitching. And I was like, oh my gosh. And the yarns are so beautiful. The colors were so perfect for her. And several of y'all got on, because that was my first time to open anything like that and offer feedback and comments through the notes. It was so, so helpful for everybody, me and others watching. A little thank you card that says, thank you for supporting our small business. There are three different QR codes so you can share what you make on there. Oh, maybe one day Emma's stuff can show up on there. She would love that. Ah, that is so great. I don't know if it's because I just haven't played with yarns before, but you can see how it's primarily green. But look at the tip, look at the coloring there. It's absolutely beautiful. Freshly picked, fluffy fingering. And it talks about what this material is made out of. Hand wash cold, lay flat to dry, so you can wash it. Very, very cool. I can't wait to see what Emma does with it because we just redid her bedroom and the main color thread through it is green. And then there are some stash teas in here. So four different teas to sip teas and stitch. There is a thank you pin. There is a but first yarn pen. You know what I have learned recently? Pens like this pen, this pen, not this pen, are very trendy right now. Very, very, very trendy. What do you do with them? I mean, I, I feel old saying that, but I mean, I remember in high school, we would put things like on our travel bag or our backpack. Are kids doing that nowadays? I mean, it's super cute. And when we were in Florida last, we were at Sub Summit and it was on a Disney campus and we were there, not at Disney, but I wanted to get the girls a really cute sticker. And there were no stickers to purchase, but there were pins everywhere. So somebody fill me in so I'm not outside the loop. And I now know that these are called stitch markers. So what you do with these is, after you do so many stitches, you can clip that there to continue your count. So I guess when you're sewing, crocheting, knitting, not sure if you do that on all of them or not, 
you use this guy to keep count. And thank you to you guys, y'all commenting and telling me that is how I learned what that was. Oh, Natural Glade Cuticle Oil. I literally use this every day to every other day. As you can imagine, busting open boxes all day every day is not real friendly on these fingernails of mine. So to keep these cuticles from drying out, I take one of these twists and brush it on. I usually keep it right here in this drawer. So yay. I don't I don't see those very often. I literally have to purchase these because I don't get them very often in subscription boxes. We got a sticker. Oh, we got two sticks. Oh, sticker Yeti. Where's the sticker Yeti? That's gotta be around here somewhere. Hold on. Here she is. This is so cute. Okay. These are the high quality stickers that could go on something like this. So if they get splashed with water, they don't fall apart. This is so dang cute. Also, at what point do I start a new sticker Yeti? Let's see. We can add this guy like right here in this gap. By the deco created, by the chicken, that. On the sticker Yeti, looking oh so fabulous. I don't know you guys, at some point, we're gonna have to figure out <laughs> <laughs> where new stickers go on this guy. But I have to say, he looks pretty fabulous right there. Okay. And then at the bottom is a stinking cute no card. Look at this guy. He's just stitching away. So there we go. If you are someone who does sock yarn activities, sock yarn crafts, Definitely check into Sip and Stitch. They are a cute little group. The owner I've talked to her a couple of times is so sweet and simply fabulous. And they're just doing something unique and cool. And I happen to really love that. Okay, I'm pretty stoked about this next box. This box right here is Camper Sweet Camper by If Wishes Were Stitches. I'm walking around Subscription Box Summit in Florida and I see this lady and she has on this like side satchel purse but the purse itself is like a little beaded crocheted camper. It was unbelievably cute. So of course I stopped and started talking to her and she was like, well, I have a subscription box for campers, like RVs. I was like, what? I need your box on the channel. So here's the box. The logo itself is really, really cute. And so I don't have any clue what is in here or what to expect. I know that handbag I saw was simply fabulous. So this is Camper Sweet Camper. It's $44.95 a month, free shipping in the US. If you use TPE 10, you get $10 off your first box. And Camper Sweet Camper is a subscription box all about camper decor that is cute and functional. What sets us apart is that most of our items are handcrafted by us in our studio here in North Texas. Oh, I did not even know she was in Texas. That is so great. So on top, we have a booklet on how to share. And this is the March box, so don't worry, I'm not spoiling anything. Inside is a, is this a sticker? Oh, it's a postcard. Camping is my favorite season. And a postcard you can send back. There is a recipe for a barbecue breakfast scramble. That's brilliant. I'm going to make this. Are breakfast like super difficult in your household? We're trying not to like eat junk, like sugary cereals or carb-loaded chocolate chip pancakes. And so we have chickens. And so making egg-based egg things is really easy. We will absolutely be making this. And I'm not gonna look too much here because that's the contents and I wanna be surprised. Oh my gosh. The colors are fabulous. This is what I'm seeing. On top are these guys. What are these? Are they like like hot pan holders? They sure look like it or oven mitts or both. You definitely could grab it like as an oven mitt. They're thick enough, but you totally could toss them down and put hot pans on top of them. And they're made up of like super cute license plates. Is that what I'm seeing there? And they're super flat and thin, which would make it really easy to store these guys. As you can see, they have a hook. So it would be really easy to hook and hang them too. And I'm digging the colors. Now, I haven't hung out in a camper recently, but when I think about RVs, I think about this being a primary color in most RVs. Is that still true? I'm gonna be like Googling now, or I'm gonna make Jonathan take me to like an RV store so I can look around, like Camper's World or whatever. So I think this is a great accent to add in. I love it. Two handcrafted pot holders. Yep, 
We chose fabrics that would coordinate with the kitchen oh, with something else in there. They are made with 100% cotton and measure eight by eight. They also have a loop for hanging. The center has a special heat resistant material, making them perfect for handling hot things in the kitchen. Brilliant. So is this a kitchen theme box? Because look, it's embroidered and it says Chase Adventure. And this one's also embroidered and it says Wonderlust. These are really good quality. Like I want to know, and I will know because I'm gonna keep these and wash these, if they do a good job of absorbing water, they feel like they will. They're 100% cotton, wash like normal, and the colors on these obviously coordinate so well with this. That is really great. And these guys are big. Let me show you. These are not playing around cloths. These are get stuff done dishcloths. And you can see on the back here, like literally, they're handmade embroidered. And so they're they're like truly perfect. Like the print quality on it is outstanding. I am such a fan, such a fan of this box. But that purse I saw that she was wearing was outstanding. So then I was like, the whole box has to be outstanding. So we have here, embroidered kitchen towel. We chose this Chase Adventure design for your first kitchen towel because each camping trip is an adventure. The towel is 100% cotton and measures 27 by 27 and has a handy loop for hanging. Hello, Samantha missed that. Where's it at? Oh yeah, there's a hang loop right here. We stitch each towel in studio. And then it says the same thing for the Wonderlust towel. I love it, y'all. I'm having to say, okay, yes, maybe you could call this a camper, but we are tent campers. We tent camp all the time. We love going camping. This is awesome for our camping bin. So we have literally this large academy bin that keeps all of our camping stuff in it always. So I don't have to pack every time. You just grab the bin and go. Super easy. Totally putting these in our bin. And then what is this guy? Ceramic road trip Salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, you guys, hold on. <laughs> Stop. It's a little RV salt shaker. You could like literally fill it up right there. And then a car pepper shaker. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh. They're magnetized. Look. The booties have a magnet in the middle so that they connect and the car can really pull the camper. And the colors match everything. This is so cute. And I told you, I knew. I was like, I, I want to find cool new boxes. And I knew we were hitting some gold mines. Okay. The Camper Salt and Pepper Shaker, we saw these adorable shakers and knew they were a must for the box. The colors coordinate with the towels. They're small and compact. They're perfect for your camper. Oh my gosh. And so then we have the breakfast and the postcard. And that's everything that we see inside. Very, very well done. This is one of those boxes that is unique and they're doing such a great job with it. Camper Sweet Camper by If Wishes Were Stitches. Super awesome job. Okay, the bar is high. The bar is high. Which one are we going to do next? Okay, we're going to do another new one next. And I want to stop right here early in the video because I never do this and say, subscribe to the channel. If you are new around here, we would love to have you a part of our pink envelope family. You can go right down below and click subscribe and that will have the videos pop up and you can hang out and watch cool new unboxings with us. We also do reviews on subscription boxes. We do decorate with me videos with the home decor subscription boxes we receive. And I've been contemplating doing empties videos. So after I use an entire subscription box, looping back and saying, what did I love about this box, this product, this item, and what did I not love? And I'm waiting to hear from you guys on that. Is that something you'd be interested in, an empties video? And is that what they're still calling it these days? I know like back in the day, empties videos were super, super trendy. I don't even know what they're calling them that, but we'll, we can work on that later. Let me know if you want more videos that loop back and talk about, did I really love the box after I really used the box? Because I'm contemplating it. Okay, this next box is for teachers. This is T 
Peach Sparkle Pop, and it is a monthly subscription at $32 a month. Shipping is $7.95 in the U.S., and if you use Pink 15, you get 15% off your first subscription. And Teach Sparkle Pop is a monthly subscription box curated for teachers, for teachers, by teachers. It's like a hug in a box filled with classroom accessories and decor, self-care, delicious treats, lifestyle products that teachers will love. Each month, a themed, beautifully packaged box of gorgeous, high-quality, often custom design unique products from women-owned and teacher-owned small businesses land on tired teachers' doorsteps from across America. Subscribers get access to the stunning teacher resources for the classroom, so you get the box and you get a resource guide, but they also have a teacher's t-shirt club, and if you subscribe to the box and the t-shirt club, you get 25% off of the t-shirt club. I didn't realize they did so much. I knew that they had this, but I didn't realize they had the resources for teachers online and the t-shirt sub. I have not opened many teacher subscription boxes in my day. Like, I don't know why. So I'm really excited to see what's in this guy and kind of what's offering, especially since it's curated by a teacher. We have a little note. She said, along with the box. Oh, I have sent a t-shirt from the t-shirt club. So we're gonna get to see those. The t-shirt club is from June, so it's a non-spoiler. And it's a separate monthly subscription. It's $24 a month and $5 for shipping if you do the t-shirt one. 20, just so you will know, $24 a month for a t-shirt subscription is cheap. Normally, they're like $32 or more. Trust me, as an avid t-shirt wearer, I am aware of that. <laughs> very cool. Thank you for that note. That was very helpful. Let's do the box first, and then we'll dive into that guy. I love all the colors. It's very happy. I can say that for sure. Smells really good in here. This box smells amazing. Okay. Here's what the actual box looks like right here. The front of the box says, yay, it's here. That's how I feel whenever I go check the mail. Okay. This is also the June box, not a spoiler. What's in the box? Dream. Your happy mail is full of dreamy things because you're a dream. So I guess dream is our theme. I don't want to read that because it talks about the products inside. The teacher being featured is Elizabeth. And how, how cute that is. She's a third and fourth grade teacher. And this is all about here. What a good idea to feature someone changing lives. On top we have, oh, it's a card. It says you catch those dreams. Go get them. And it looks like a hand-drawn card. I can see the artist signature at the bottom. Very cute. Comes with an envelope. And then we have a sloth holding a coffee. Freshener for the car. So the other day, and I do not remember which subscription box, sent us one of these, and it's the shape of a pineapple. And then we've actually gotten two more since. So I went from, like, never getting these in boxes to getting three or four back to back to back, which is actually really, really exciting. We put the pineapple one in the car, and the kids were like, What's that thing? I was like, oh, it's a car air fresher. Of course, it's like dangling from the rear view mirror. And they're like, what are you talking about? They didn't even know what they were. They had never seen one before. Anyways, now we're all huge fans. We have the cute little pineapple that smells so good dangling in the car. But we already put it in the car. And, you know, they don't last long, especially in this Texas heat. So this one has the scent jasmine, which is what I was smelling when I opened the box. And I have a feeling they're going to like the sloth a whole lot more than they like the pineapple because that's right up their alley. Oh, we have another sticker. This looks like another one of the really high quality stickers. Yes, this one says dream and it's a cloud. And then in here, let me open this one as well. Oh my gosh, this is cute. That's also what I'm smelling. I was like, what I'm smelling doesn't smell like Jasmine. I can see the other item that I'm smelling. So this one has dream and teacher and this one has dream. This is a sticker. This is a sticker. This looks like a magnet. Look at the back compared to the rest of these. So I think this guy you could put on, I guess, your side of your desk. Do teachers side of their desk, are they still metal? They were back when I was in school. Everything was made of metal and you can stick magnets to everything because we did it all the time. So here are these guys. These are great. Once again, these are those super high quality stickers that you can use um, in a myriad of ways. I'm putting the dream sticker on the sticker Yeti. Where should it go? Ooh, it's getting kind of full. I'm going to start covering things up. I hate covering things up, though. What if I put it, like, right here? So let's see. Right there. And we'll push it down. There's Dream. 
Well, this is a this is a good day for the sticker yeti. She's getting a little refresh. Okay, very cute for those. Then there is a sponge gel, and this has got to be lavender. Yes, French lavender. If you have not used these before, you need to. They're just fun. They last forever. And you just scrub, scrub, wash with it, set it on the side. Um, mine always lasts at least two weeks, and I shower daily. Uh, cleanses, exfoliates, massages, nourishes, 14 plus uses, it says there on the front. I knew it lasted forever. This is the first one I've gotten with the hangy thing which is brilliant because I set mine down in the shower and I try to make sure I always rotate it because you can tell which way you sit it. And the hangy thing may actually help with that. I love, love, love that. And then there's the Essential Apothecary Sweet Dream Spray. Spray on skin, bedding, pillows, oh, or wherever you need. I love linen sprays. I use linen sprays all the time. So here's one of these. Then we have Denon Gourmet Popcorn. A caramel corn single bag. That is amazing looking and it's gluten free. So I can eat it. Very excited about that. And then there's one, two, three, four of these dream sticky note, post-it note things. Once again, fabulously done. My kids are gonna be able to share these with me. That's really exciting. I'll keep one of these in the office and I'll give a couple to the girls because there's four of them in here. They're gonna love that. And if I were a kiddo and my teacher wrote a note on here and stuck it on my paper, that would be incredibly happy. That's really brilliant. And then what is this? Don't quit your daydream. <gasps> They're pins. Oh my gosh. Those are really, really cool pins. Oh yeah, really cool colors, really cool pins. So here's what they look like out. They have a really soft touch to them. They are a clicker pen, and the actual letter is where you hook it onto paper, like that. Isn't that cool? Very unique, very well done. It says black ink gel pens. Okay, so I'm not a teacher. Actually, the thought of being a teacher scares the wit out of me, and I am super beyond appreciative of our teachers. But I love this box. Like, super love the quality of the things, the uniqueness of the things, they're very coordinated in theme. First impression with Teach Sparkle Pop is a huge thumbs up. This whole haul has been such a big win. I love when they're big wins, but we have been working so hard to find big wins to share on here. New boxes doing new cool things in new ways, or even new boxes that are doing same old things in cool ways is what we're looking for around here. So there is this guy. I'm so excited she sent the t-shirt club so I can share with you guys what this looks like. Our t-shirts, our teachers t-shirt wearers, I am such a t-shirt wearer and I just call it like, because I'm a mom, like I'm busy running and going. I could throw a blazer over this and go to a dinner or I could go to a baseball game right now. So I feel like t-shirts are such a staple. So in this guy, I'm loving the color. It's pink. I love pink. All right. Oh, we have the stickers, just like in the last box. We have the teacher sticker in here. And then the t-shirt, I haven't seen it yet. Y'all are gonna see it first. I can see it says teacher. It looks super cute. Teachers rocking those summer vibes. Very, very cute. It's a canvas Bella tee. I'm a big fan of canvas Bella tees. Um, super soft. This is a size medium, which is like perfect for me to wear oversized. I love, love, love t-shirts. Okay, that's super great. So once again, like I had said earlier, um, it is not uncommon to pay 30 plus for a Bella tee quality type t-shirt subscription. So to get that plus a sticker, for what did she say? 24 plus $5 shipping is a really great deal, you guys. And then this box here is how much? 32 with about $8 in shipping. Very cool finds. Next up is a staple around here. So sometimes you guys see subscription boxes just because they're a favorite of mine. <laughs> when I started this channel, the only thing I ever showed was my, my personal subscription boxes, like the things I was subscribed to. And looking back, it's so funny. Y'all were so fabulous in watching, but I had about, I don't know, I think maybe 10 subscriptions, which is a lot if you think about like for one person. 
but it's not a lot when you think about creating content for a channel. And I just posted about those same boxes over and over like Stitch Fix. Seven from Betsy, that <laughs> box was on there so much. And you guys just hung in there and supported me. It's been so amazing. I know there's a few of you from back then that are still here because y'all have told me, which is so crazy. So Bella is one of those staples that just do a good job every single time. They also have great customer service and it's a product that you can consume so it doesn't stack up. We love candles and we light them often. So Vela is a monthly subscription. There are three candle options to choose from. One starting at 18 a month, one at 28 a month, and one at 38 a month. And basically that depends on the size of the candle. Like they had the big Mamba Jamma 16 ounce and then they go down to a four ounce candle. So once again, how big is your house? How often do you burn candles? You would choose your subscription based on those facts. This also is a great gift to send to people. If you know somebody who's stuck in their house or just going through a hard time, or maybe they're not going through a hard time, maybe they are kicking butt and they are truly owning their space, send them a candle. Way to own your space, way to be, way to think big. I'm proud of you. I think so often we're like, oh, when somebody's struggling, we need to send them a gift. No, when people are kicking, what am I allowed to say on this channel? Booty and doing great things, we need to send them a gift. And so that's what I think of when I think of this box. There is free US shipping and $5 to Canada. Use code pink envelope 50 to get 50% off your first box. And these are natural candles made by a featured American artist each month. Guaranteed clean burning made with 100% natural waxes, cotton wicks, and five light free. So they don't make their own candles. They're going out and finding other US based small businesses and featuring them, empowering them to grow and to be more. That's another thing that I love that they're doing. So let's see who our featured candle maker is this month, where they're located and all that stuff. They do give you a Spotify playlist so you can totally hook it up and have music playing to go with your candle, completely thought free. You get a bag with each one of these. These bags dual great for makeup, hair accessories, traveling with jewelry, et cetera. We use these to store those often. So bag with every time that you can repurpose good quality, nice canvas bags. Candles come with lids. Y'all know me. If you've been around here at all, lids are a must. I don't like candles without lids. They just, you spend all this time making the room smell amazing. Then you blow it out and it smells like smoke. Not when your candle has a lid. This is the Beach Cottage Living All Bright. It is made with soy wax and it has notes of aqua lotus, coconut water and jasmine petal. Very chic and clean label. I am a fan of that. Let's smell it. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So this is outside of my normal. Um, I do talk to them each month before my box comes. And so uh, I told them to surprise me this month. I was like, just surprise me, send me a candle. I would have not normally picked this but I absolutely love it. It's more sweeter and more florally, but it has that coconut touch to it. And I love everything with the coconut, which is why they sent it. I can guarantee you they knew that. This is so good. Oh, and it's single wick, just in case, look at me just moving on like single wick. And then you always get a little gift or item. Like we got a propagation cone one time. My kiddos use that thing all the time. Uh, different products. This is three ships, do drops, Whoa, I don't even know how to say this, but you apply it to clean skin morning and night, mushroom hyaluronic acid in vitamin C serum. And so it's a boost of hydration in, for your skin. It's won some awards. I'm sure it's amazing. I know the brand Three Ships is awesome. It's a clean brand. I've heard a million things awesome about them. I just haven't used them and I don't, I don't use samples. I have extremely sensitive skin. So if I rotate products, not good, not good. So I will pay it forward to a nonprofit here in San Antonio or to one of you guys so that you guys can enjoy it. Okay, if you're looking for a great gift for yourself and you just enjoy candles, definitely check out Bella Box. They are a tried and true and they do an amazing job every time. Okay, this last box is huge and I'm probably, this is the one I was most excited about. This is Wild Grain. Wild Grain is a, hold on, I need to read this so I don't say it wrong. Wild Grain is a bake from frozen sourdough bread 
pasta and artisan pastry pastry box that gets sent to your home. So you get breads, pastas, and pastries in your boxes. It is perfect for a quick meal that has a homemade quality and for making hosting family and friends easy. All of our products are baked within 25 minutes with no thawing and they are made with clean ingredients. So this is a monthly subscription. If you do $89, you get the mix box and you can do bread, pasta, pastries, or you can do 89 for the bakery box, which is bread and pop pastries. So you can choose between the two. Shipping is free in the U.S. If you use code pink envelope, you get $30 off your first order. That coupon code does expire on 831. If after 831 2022, it goes down to $10 off your first order. So just order it with the great big fancy coupon because why would we not? Okay, what do we have here? Packing list of everything that is inside. A thank you for being a member and ordering card. And then um, there was uh, bags of dry ice. Um, I took those out. They were just empty, of course, by the time I got it. So this is what it looks like inside. Everything is packed and frozen. And it did well. They shipped to us here in Texas. It's 100 degrees outside and everything arrived great. On top are artisanal Belgian waffles. Oh my. Oh my goodness gracious. These are going to be amazing. Who is a huge Belgian waffle fan? I love Belgian waffles. So I live gluten-free. It has made a huge, huge change in my health. Um, was seeing doctors chasing all these things and, and, and went to the gluten-free route on my own and was able to get off all this medication and crap. So I do cheat every once in a while. And I'm a carb lover. I love carbs. I don't like other things. So when I cheat, I cheat for things like Belgian waffles. I don't go for cake or cookies. That's not my, not my thing. So this is going to be a cheat. I'm going to go ahead and pre-schedule it now. They are made with real butter and Belgian pearl sugar for a light, sweet crunch. Instead of a batter, they use dough to deliver a delicious, one-of-a-kind brioche-like texture. Vegetarian, clean ingredients, unbleached flour, non-GMO, and no artificial coloring. That is a uh, freaking amazing. So that's the label. And look how beautiful they are. That would be a great presentation for these guys. And it says, do not thaw. Preheat oven to 400. Put on a baking sheet with parchment paper. Bake for four to six minutes. Enjoy. That is super fast and easy. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, I love croissants. I freaking love croissants. Our croissants are full bodied, flaky and crispy on the outside with melt in your mouth goodness on the inside. We love them for breakfast or brunch. Once again, preheat oven to 380. Bake frozen croissants on a baking sheet with parchment paper, 18 to 22 minutes. Done. So easy. I'm also going to um, do one of these with my splurge today. Since they use clean ingredients and they use non-bleached flours, when they're a cleaner flour, it is not as bad of a consequence than when I eat like, like cupcakes from the grocery store. Never, never a good thing. Slow fermented olive oil ch chia butter bread. Maybe I should not have allowed this box to show up. This is literally all of my favorite things when I used to eat gluten. Like the good quality stuff. Oh my gosh. Wheat flour, extra virgin olive oil, yeast water, and sea salt. Oh my gosh, you guys. And I love good breads. But you know, you with good breads, you have to have them made in a very particular way or they're not good breads. And it's, you're not going to buy them in a can at the grocery store. They have to be made and frozen or made and immediately eaten. Oh, my gosh. What else is in here? I should just stop. I'm torturing myself. A sourdough walnut bread. We use the old way of making bread with wild yeast that can take days from start to finish, providing nutrients, fiber-rich brands, proteins, probiotics, and vitamin-rich germs. Mm, 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 mm. What is this guy? Oh, a sourdough bread. Okay, I'm not as big of a fan of sourdough. I don't know why. So this doesn't torture my little heart as bad as everything else has tortured my little heart. So there is a full loaf of sourdough bread chilling in here. It looks great. 
But this next one's going to be a hard one for me. Fresh made pastas. I love, I love fresh made pastas. There is a tonarelli and a fettuccine. Both of them are made with seminola flour, eggs, water, and salt. Uh, you pop them in salted water boiling. Gently add the frozen pasta. Cook six to eight minutes. Drain and serve. Mm, look at these guys. Tell me, have y'all eaten fresh made pasta like this or do you normally buy it in the crunchy state in the bag and break it and put it in the boiling water? There is a huge difference when taking it from dough format than the like dehydrated format. Is that what that's called? Is it dehydrated? I don't even know. Um, this is so, so good. So uh, I obviously haven't tried these yet. These just came in. Um, I'll have the kids try and we'll loop back on Instagram and share. I'm trying to get better about looping back onto the community wall here on YouTube to share with you guys. But this must be the mix box for bread, pasta, and pastries at $89. That is so crazy. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a little over $10 each. That's not bad. Delivered here, that's not bad because you can get multiple meals out of these for sure. Okay, what a crazy fun find with wild grains. Okay, that was an amazing haul. I really hope that we can do that again. I did an amazing haul on Thursday the 30th. If you want to see that one go up here, it was six brand new boxes to our channel. We had not opened five of them ever before, and one of them we opened back in like 2016, and they had changed everything. So it was like, well, basically it was brand new. Definitely go check that out. If you're like, okay, those are great, but not loving that, I did a best of haul. I released that one on, oh, July 4th. It released on the 4th. Yeah, see, I'm still wearing all my patriotic stuff. And that one was my favorite boxes, boxes that are tried, true, like Bella Box. We have used forever. They do an amazing job, and I just, I just love them. So you can go up here to check that one out. And we have so many more coming. I am looking for new boxes. If you have a brand new box, you own a, brand, a box, reach out. If you know of a box, comment below. Tell me what you think about them. Give me their names so we can find them. What we do here is unbox. If you've been hanging out here and you're like, I have been enjoying watching these unboxings. I've been enjoying finding new boxes, but I kind of want to go next level. Like I want to do more than just see the unboxing. I want to talk to other users. I want to ask questions. I want to give feedback. You're going to want to join the Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group. It is for subscription boxes of all types, and we get on and talk about the things we love and the things we don't love. Uh, exclusive giveaways take place there. Exclusive coupon codes pop up there. Um, sometimes you're the first in the know for something. So if I have a box that I know has very limited inventory and it's going to sell out quick, I release it to those dedicated members first over in the group, then it comes over here. And so there's a lot of perks to jumping over there and hanging out with us. Plus, the people over there are simply amazing. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. You can go right down there and click the subscribe button. You can hit the bell if you want notifications to ping you when I post. We're uh, having, we have a lot of coming up in July. It's my birthday month. I'm using all of my birthday money to order boxes. And so I'm just ordering some of my favorites, sharing some of my favorites, and just going to have some fun through the whole month of July. So you're going to want to stay tuned to see what craziness we do next. I hope that you guys had a very amazing 4th of July and that you have a very blessed rest of your week. And if you subscribe to my channel, I'm going to see you later. Bye, y'all.